So the Sony a7R5 is said to be coming out on October 26th, and since we're so close, well, all the rumors are starting to spin and we're getting more and more information. So yesterday we had a maybe possibly leaked photo of the camera and now, well, Sony Alpha rumors are saying that that was a fake. So, well, that was a whole video. But I do think it was an interesting concept and we will see if it actually was a faked image or not. But now we are hearing from a supposedly very reliable source coming from Sony Alpha rumors that the new Sony a7R5 will have a brand new sensor that is right around 63 megapixels. So to me, this is maybe the most exciting news I've heard about this camera so far. And the reason being is there's basically been two camps on this particular camera. One of the thoughts were they were gonna keep the exact same sensor, which is a 61 megapixel sensor. They were gonna maybe change the processor, update some of the autofocus, maybe do some minor tweaks to the body and possibly just call it a day. The other camp was that they were gonna raise the megapixel count significantly, somewhere north of 80 megapixels, somewhere even putting it somewhere around 100 megapixels. So the reason why I think this is super intriguing and actually exciting to me is supposedly this is a brand new sensor, but it's gonna be around 63 megapixels, meaning that they're really not raising the megapixel count in any significant way so why are they doing that? So the reason that I wonder why they are doing that is because that the sensor that is in the Sony a7R4 is still really good. And if they just added more processing power and updated some of the stuff, I mean, it's still gonna be a very solid camera. And if they're not gonna raise the megapixel count in any real significant way, then why develop a whole new sensor? Well, to me, that signifies that maybe they have some very good, interesting tech that is gonna go into this camera. If you're gonna develop a new sensor that is basically the same size, then it tends to reason that this sensor is gonna have some really improved tech over your older sensor to justify that R&D and extra money spent on a new sensor. So what are some of the improvements that it could be? Well, obviously it could be a little bit faster of a sensor, although a high resolution camera like this tends to not necessarily be a high action photography camera. So it's not the most important thing, but a faster sensor would always be welcome. Another thing that they could do is maybe even improve the dynamic range even more, even though the dynamic range of the 61 megapixel sensor that it's in the a7R4 is pretty damn good for a high megapixel camera. And another thing that they can improve on and is kind of what I'm banking on and hoping for is the low light performance of this sensor. How could they improve the low light performance of a 63 megapixel sensor? Well, the way that they could do so is implementing their new stacked sensor technology. This is a different stacked technology that is in the A1 or the A9. This particular type of stacked sensor allows for doubling the saturation of light. So theoretically, at least, if you have a 63 megapixel sensor, if it's stacked in this particular way, then you would have the low light capabilities of somewhere around a 30 megapixel sensor. Now, the reason that I am hopeful in this is they did have a press announcement about this, I think it was about six months to a year back, saying that they were working on this or actually that they had a breakthrough in this technology. That being said, I was kind of on the fence on when they would implement this because a lot of times they'll have a press statement about something that maybe won't be implemented until well in the future. And when it is implemented, it's usually implemented in their highest of the high end. So I was thinking maybe like an A1 Mark II, but for them to be coming out with a brand new sensor that is in the Sony a7R5 that is pretty much identical in megapixel range to the current model, makes me think that maybe this technology is gonna be implemented into this camera. At least that is my hopes and my thoughts. And to me, this is much more exciting than the possibility of an 80 or 90 or 100 megapixel sensor. To me, that's, it, it just didn't excite me very much for them to just keep adding to the number. I didn't necessarily see the value of them going that much higher. And maybe this isn't even the technology that is gonna be implemented into this sensor. Maybe that is still a ways off. That being said, if 
they're going to be coming out with this new sensor. I think they're going to have to justify it somehow. So I expect some pretty incredible things coming out of this camera. Drop in the comment section below and let me know what are your thoughts on this latest development? Are you excited about this camera? Are you excited to hear that they're going to have a new 63 megapixel sensor? versus maybe going up to the 80, 90, 100 range. Are you disappointed? Let me know all that in the comment section below. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And until next time, peace.